So there are new photos out that show Megan the Stallion's gruesome foot injuries after the Tory Lane shooting. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So Megan the Stallion's injured foot photos taken hours after she was allegedly shot by Tory Lane's in 2020 have surfaced online and the damage looks pretty extensive. The graphic new photos obtained by TMZ come shortly after x-rays of Meg's feet were released to the public as well and showed multiple bullet fragments located in her heel. The new photos are a bit more gruesome and not only show the bloody aftermath of Meg's feet following the shooting, but also the bloody backseat of Tori's SUV, as well as the gun used to fire off the shots. Megan previously shared a photo of her wounded feet on Instagram in 2020 after critics cast doubt on her story. The latest photo arrives as more evidence from the Tory Lanez trial has been made public, including footage of Megan Thee Stallion sobbing in the back of an ambulance after the shooting. A key piece of evidence that led to Tory's conviction was a jail phone call made by the rapper to Megan's former friend and assistant, Kelsey Harris, in which prosecutors claim he was apologizing for shooting the Houston hottie. Sure. I know she probably never ever gonna talk to me ever again, but bruh, I just want you to know, bruh. Nigga, I was just so fucking drunk, nigga, I didn't even know what the fuck was going on, bro. That ass. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on, bro. Like that ass, nigga. I never do some shit like that, bro. Just that, that nigga, I was so fucking drunk, nigga, I just didn't even understand what the fuck was going on, bro. Like so I, whatever, yeah. bro. But, you know, Regardless, that's not going to make anything right, and that's not going to make my actions right, bro, but I'm just deeply sorry, bro. I never even moved like that, bro. Like, never moved like that at all, bro. Like, for real, for real, dog. I know. There's a lot, a lot that happens, but... A whole lot, bro. Like, a whole lot, bro. I feel like... I feel crazy, bro, but... In this day, like... What happened happened already, bro. I can't take it back, bro. I just felt I'm just telling y'all I'm sorry, bro. Like You're listening to Street T V. I think it was just too drunk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I got to when I got to the house, uh, uh sure he like all top niggas they gave me like five shots like off the door, like you feel me? So I was out of there like wasn't even there with niggas like you feel me? So we was taking shots past that time. I wasn't even there with niggas like bro, I don't even know I don't even remember what we was even arguing about, bro, like Alleged audio of the shooting also surfaced in which five gunshots can be heard being fired at a relatively steady and consistent rate. The footage was recorded on a security camera inside a nearby residence. Tory Lanez was found guilty on all counts on December 23rd, including felony assault with a semi-automatic firearm, possession of a concealed unregistered firearm, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. While he faces up to 22 years and 8 months in prison, his sentencing date was recently delayed amid a major shakeup to his legal team. According to Fox 11 Los Angeles, a judge has set a new date of February 28th after Lanes replaced his defense attorney, George Desayan, with David Kenner, who helped Snoop Dogg beat his 1993 murder case and also previously represented Suge Knight. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.